From the time DeepSeek came into the market, multiple different other Chinese companies also are launching their own LLM models. Kimi AI is one such LLM model and let's see in this video if it can be really useful or not. Kimi also provides some additional features which are not available with other LLM models. So let's check out in this video what are the options available inside Kimi AI. So if I paste this particular link here that is Kimi.ai, you'll be able to see this type of an interface. So here I already logged in using my ID. If you are using it for the first time, you can use your Google credentials or you can create a separate email ID to log in inside this tool. So this is again normal here in the heart of this particular page. This is the area where you need to type your prompt and they also have a long thinking model which you can enable or disable by clicking on this particular button. And second one is internet search facility that also you can turn on or off. You can also turn on both of these options together. Now one good option is there within Kimi.ai that is common phrase. So this is something new. This is kind of custom instructions within ChatGPT, whatever we use. You can see earlier I utilized this particular option. Let me show you what am I talking about. So if I click on this plus button to add a common phrase and there I paste this particular prompt. Going forward, whenever I type colon revise colon, please provide a revised and polished version of the text in simple English with a human like tone. And if I click on this particular option here, custom, that is the wake word. What will be that wake word? That is this colon revise colon. So colon revise colon is my wake word. And then if I click on complete, it will save this particular option. So currently this is save. Now you will be able to see this particular common phrase has been added. And if I click on this icon new, then it will get added. Now you can see it's being synced. Then down the line, if I click on this particular option, it will repeat my prompt. Let me use the earlier one which I created. If I click on grammar, then you can see it already pasted that particular command here. Please provide a grammatically corrected version of the given text so that I don't need to repeat my prompts again and again. So this is one unique feature within Kemi.ai. So this is one part. So if I delete it, and now in the left side, if I just give you a walkthrough of the what are the other options are available, you can click on this particular option for a new chat, which is uh, self-explanatory. And the next one is the chat history. And this is your account. From there, you will be able to select any of the specific theme. If you are looking for a light one, dark one or the system theme that you can select here. And here you will be able to change the language if you are looking for Chinese and then log out is there. So these are the only things here you will be able to download the browser extension and the desktop application. And if you want to use it from your mobile device, you can scan this particular QR code and you'll be able to download. So this is a very quick walkthrough about this tool. So here another option is there. You'll be able to attach maximum 50 files and 100 MB each. So those files can be attached here and few of the supported document formats are also mentioned here. So these are the main thing and there are few of the ready-made prompts are available. So this is an overview of this particular tool. Now let me show you few of the examples how this tool is performing. If I turn off this search mode and keep this long thinking mode enabled and then I paste one prompt here. Three friends go to a hotel and pay rupees 30 for a room. So this is kind of a tricky question where it needs to think and it's also needs to do some arithmetic calculation and then only it will be able to respond. So this is to test out its long thinking ability. And if I click on this button, then it will start working and it will also show that how it is thinking and how it is working. So you can see it's thinking like a human and this is trying to understand how this thing is working. So it already picked up that answer and just let me know in the comments below if the response was correct or incorrect. But this is to test out the long thinking ability of Kimi.ai and in my view, it's doing a good job. Now we checked for is long thinking ability. If I paste this particular prompt where I'm asking it to analyze which company is better 
positioned for global dominance by 2030. So not only search, first of all it will search to gather the data, but its deep thinking model is also required to analyze that data and come up with the prediction. Let's see how it works. I just hit this particular button and now currently you can see it's going for this web search and it is crawling through all these websites and few of the images also. So this one it's going through, you can see it read 20 different pages and currently it's searching and it's looking for different details. So each of the company it's trying to gather some of the details, then it's going for the comparison and now it is comparing their business models. Now our question is by 2030, who will be in a more dominant position based on all these details? Now you can see it's giving all the references and citations that from which link it got all those details and then it came up with a response. So I would request you to use this particular prompt and read and understand how this is coming back with. But what I wanted to show here that its capability that how can it search the internet and how can it use its deep thinking model to summarize the details, analyze the details and come up with a prediction. Now let me test another thing. If I click on a new chat and let's see if it can analyze any of the images or not because there is one option to upload files, right? If I click on it and then I select one file which I downloaded from the internet earlier, that is this one. This particular image contains multiple different capabilities of Dipsy. And then I ask this question, please analyze this image and validate authenticity of these details. And if I click on this particular button, then it will start working. Currently you can see it's searching and reasoning and then it will try to validate. Let's see how it works. So you can see now it's cross verifying all these details. Earlier it analyzed and extracted those details and after that it started cross verifying and now it's giving the conclusion. So this is another open source and free tool which is capable of doing multiple different things. So I would say this is another tool in our arsenal. Whenever we use all frontline LLM tools and some of them charges money also for this kind of capabilities, nowadays it's available for free. All these new open source tools are coming up. Those are coming with multiple different capabilities for which we are already paying OpenAI but here you don't need to pay anything. Just only thing you need to ensure that you are not uploading any of the confidential data. Now, if I click on this new chat and see that can it generate images? And if I hit enter, I just pasted one prompt and currently it is using mid journey to generate the image. And if you see that it's saying that you click on this icon to see the image. So it generated the image but in a different way. It used another tool and it also used Midjourney to generate the image. So I opened a new chat and I turned off this internet search and if I now paste this particular prompt again, now you can see it saying, I'm sorry, I cannot assist with that. So it cannot generate an image directly, but if you enable its web search, it will use another third party tool to generate the image for you. This is one drawback. It cannot generate AI images which is actually freely available in multiple different other tools, but maybe they, down the line, they will improve on this particular area. So if I go to this new chat again, earlier we saw that it can analyze any of the image which contains certain type of text. Now let's see, can it analyze any of the CSV or Excel file? If I click on this particular button and then I select this particular file, Netflix titles, and this is a CSV file. And if I just ask, please analyze this data file and give me insight. Let's see how it works. It's saying that exceeded word limit, Kimi only read the first 7%. So this was a 3 MB CSV file, which it cannot read. But here it mentioned that 100 MB file, that to 50 quantity. So it could not read that CSV properly. While the CSV doesn't have a full data, it started working. So it can analyze Excel files, but with a limited amount of data. So DeepSeek is very good in this particular area, but here Kimi is not able to do justice because here you can see it's only read 
first 7% of the data. Now let's see few more capabilities. If I click on a new chat and I paste one of my favorite prompt that can it generate a PowerPoint file directly. I can help you with the outline, but it cannot generate the direct file. So it can generate a outline for any of the PowerPoint presentation. But if I ask it to generate the direct PPTX file, which I can just click and download that it cannot do. So this is another area, maybe it needs to improve, except ChatGPT, no other tools are generating direct PPTX file using this web browser. Copilot does it, but that also does it inside PowerPoint. But if you use Copilot from the web browser, it cannot generate that file directly. So let me ask, can you generate the actual PPTX file for me? And let's see how it comes back with, I'm sorry, I cannot generate. And let me now finally ask this one question and let's see how it responds. Considering it's a Chinese tool, if I ask this particular question, sorry, I cannot provide this information. So it cannot reveal any China specific information. But if I ask, is Donald Trump a good leader? Then it will be able to respond. So this is a similar way how DeepSeek is also operating. It cannot reveal any China specific data considering it's a China specific tool, but it can help us in certain ways. Those scenarios we saw, let me know in the comments below if you want to use this tool or it will not be useful for you. If you want to know more about another open source free LLM tool, then check out this video where I covered everything about that specific tool, which can also help you as a replacement of ChatGPT.